Now let's welcome back Kelly McFarland to Pet Corner. Morning Kelly. Good morning. And you've got some advice for our pets that are suffering from arthritis. Yes, well you know winter is now upon us, um, finally, and yes there's, I'm sure there's a few cats and dogs out there who are feeling a little bit sore from arthritic joints. Now before we talk about a solution, can you tell us what some of the symptoms are that you might notice if your pets are suffering from sore joints or arthritis? Yeah, a couple of different things. So if you've got a cat, I mean usually the classical signs are, you know, they're not necessarily maybe jumping up onto your couch anymore. Well, you um, or trying not to get on your bed, they might be seeking the warmth, so trying to lie in the sun to get the heat. And um, if it's for dogs, you tend to notice uh, if you've been out on a walk with them, usually on the way back they're probably going at the slowest pace possible. <laughs> might be a little bit stiff as well getting up in, in the morning, and that's the same for our cats as well after a big sleep. So yeah, just a few basic signs to look for. And is there any particular age that it starts at or can start at any age? No, I mean, look, you know, young animals as well, especially young dogs, if they've had cruciate repairs or um, have had surgery with regards to um, things like a luxating patella where their knee pops out, yeah. so they've had orthopaedic surgery, they're prone, again, to arthritis earlier um, because of that. Um, but again, you know, any age from six, seven years old up, um, start to obviously head into slightly older years. So what can we do to prevent arthritis? The main thing is, especially for dogs and also certainly for cats, um, try and keep their weight down as much as possible. That We see quite a few plumpy cats out there nowadays and especially in their older age and so they certainly do struggle and again for our dogs if they're a bit on the uh, plumpy side then for them it's difficult to exercise um, and definitely puts a lot of pressure on their joints as well as their, you know, when you think about things like heart conditions as well. Mm, okay, I love what you say, plumpy, <laughs> fat. <laughs> and you bought a new Flans Hokey Oil with you today as well. Can you tell me more about that? Yeah, so a while back, I um, don't know if you remember Mel, but we talked about Cooper who had major skin issues and uh, he was using the Hokey Oil for that. Um, but also it does help um, animals with joint support. So um, certainly your arthritic animals. And again, as I mentioned, those younger animals who have had um, surgery, um, yeah. surgical interventions. So um, yeah, so full of omega-3s. Uh, which is, as we know, you know, we all need it. Um, it's a unique fish oil. So again, uh, we know for people how good it is for us. Exactly the same for our pets. Okay. So you've tried this on to help your own dog Zoe, haven't you? So we what, did. Yeah. What sort of results did you see in her? So what we did was over a three-week period of feeding it to her once a day, just in a food. So as you can see, um, at the time Zoe there was 17, oh, yeah. and uh, very stiff, uh, not really wanting to. Yeah. And you can see how she doesn't really want to lift up her feet. So she got one pump um, each meal, so she was fed twice a day. And um, and here she's now running up the stairs. Check out Zoe up Three weeks later, yeah. So, and she actually wasn't on any other medication. So for her personally, um, she didn't need any um, specific veterinary medication. Some animals do as well, so this works in conjunction with that if necessary. So you were using the New Flans Hokey Oil, what, for three weeks? That was three weeks, yeah. And you got those results? Yes. Within three weeks? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Is the hokey oil just for dogs? No, as I say, it can be used for cats as well. And um, again, the main thing is, you know, it's based on weight with regards to how much they feed. So apart from this um, one litre bottle, it does come in a 200 ml bottle as well. So, you know, if you have got a cat, you don't have to worry about having to buy a big litre bottle of, okay. uh, of the um, oil. And they just get a pump per meal? Yeah, for Zoe it was based on weight, um, but it really depends if, if obviously she was a lot bigger, um, then sometimes they need two pumps per meal. But um, yeah, all the information's on the, the packaging anyway, so it's really easy to work out. Yeah, that's good to know yeah. too. And the pump, I like the idea of that because I didn't want to get any of that on my hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excellent. Hey, well, Kelly, thank you so much. Thank Enlightening, you. as always. To see Zoe's full story, you can go to the Cafe Facebook page. And if you would like to try Hokey Oil for your dog, just comment their name under the Facebook post as we have two Hokey Oils to give away to you. And Pet Corner is brought to us by Yukinuba, who have recently made some great improvements to their diets. Visit their website, yukinuba.co.nz slash yukinuba to find out more.